Hello everybody, it's Beth here again. Today we're going to have a go at doing this lovely lion drawing. Um, we're going to do it first of all in pencil and then if you want to you can add some pen and ink over the top. So all you need is a pencil, a rubber, um, a black felt tip if you've got one and a paintbrush and some water. So if you've got everything ready we will make a start. Okay, we're going to start by um, drawing his nose. So what we want to do, we will put our pencil, we'll probably do his nose about, I would say, a third of the way up the page to give room for his face and his lovely mane. We're doing a nice big close-up of this lion. So um, we're going to first of all draw his nose, so little sketchy lines, and we're going to do a little line across. I've come down very slightly in the middle, and we're going to take, the line in and down. We're going to make it um, a bit like a, a triangle shape. So down. If you can do a little point at the bottom, that'd be brilliant. And then just these little funny bits on the end. The little curved extension of his nose just on the end. So we've got his nose in. I'm going to where the point is, going to bring that down, a little line that comes down, a little bit um, longer than the, the height of the nose, and then we're just going to curve that round on both sides. We're going to take the curve out just a little way to start with past the edge of the nose, like that. Okay, so just little lines to start with. Okay. So that's the base of the nose and the mouth. We'll just get the eyes in and then we'll carry on with the mouth a little bit more. Um, so with the eyes, what I'm doing is I'm tracking the edge of the nose. I'm tracking up, so it's sort of roughly level with the edge of that nose. And we're going to do, um, it's almost like a very soft right angle. So, across and then down like that so not too harsh not too straight very gentle to start with we will soften it up a little bit in a minute and then the same on the other side so track the edge of the nose up and then we're going to do a soft I don't actually I'm going to take this a bit higher let's rub that out and let's just take it a little bit higher I think so rub it out. If you press nice and gently, you should be able to rub that out quite easily. I'm going to take it a little bit higher. So round, like that. Okay, so track the edge of the nose. Check that it roughly matches that side. And up and over, like that. Okay, so it's almost like this is the eye socket, really. And then what we're going to do, we're just going to bring a curved line down from the top, down to meet this, that line there. And the same on both sides. So they should roughly be the same. Okay, so we've got one there, one there. Ignore my rubbings out for now. All right. So once we've got, once we're happy with the placement of our eyes, um, we're going to just bring this line down now. So we're going to continue it down. As we start getting closer to the nose, we're going to bring it out just a little bit and then curve it round to meet up with our mouth. Can you see that? And then the same on the other side. So bring that line down, continue that line down just as we get above the nose, start bringing it out and then curving it round to meet the bottom one like that. So now we've got his sort of muzzle, his nose and his mouth. And then all I'm going to do for his mouth for now is just going to do a little squiggly line just underneath like a little hairy chin like that just for now. We're going to shade in in a minute, so we're just going to get the basic shape done first of all. Going back to the eyes, we're going to put his um, eyeball in. So what I want is going to fill the socket. So from the right, from the top, we want to bring a curved line down, and then bring it back up 
on the other side a little bit so it fills that socket all the way round like that and then we'll put his pupil in make it nice and big so he's got his big pupil there um, I might just do it's, it's not really an eyebrow but it's a little bit of fur just across sort of up and then a little bit down and then we're going to put another little line just underneath his eye a little scribbly line doesn't have to be perfect okay and then we'll just get the rest of his face in so just um i'd say probably the width of maybe this this middle bit there up here we're going to just put a little sketchy line just going almost like a little heart so it goes down in the middle a little bit then back up and then down past his eyes just pop it in and then we'll have a look see if we need to mend it pop it in bring it round and it should sort of join up with his mouth so i'm going to take that in just a little bit there we go so rub this one out Bring that round and then just down a little bit okay so we can do the same on this side so I'd start off from the the side of his mouth just there continue that line up and then up to meet this other one on the other side I'm going to bring that one in just a little bit as well actually I think otherwise we're not going to have room for his lovely mane so we'll rub that top one out we don't need that okay so let's have a look so it's a little bit like a heart at the moment isn't it um you're just wondering so we'll maybe bring that in a little bit more so just keep stepping back having a little look seeing what you think looks and works well okay as long as you're doing your little light lines to start with then it's so easy to just rub it out until you get it right until you're happy with it okay so i think we're pretty much there that's basic shape done so what i'm going to do now we're just going to put a few little lines in for his mane if you wanted to we could put a little ear in it's coming off the page a little bit and a little ear that side if you wanted to depending on how much room you've got on your paper and then i'm just to start with we're just going to do we're not going to do too much with his mane but it's just give us a guide of how his mane is going to do so I'm just at the moment just some scribbly lines just curving round we're going to make his mane really scribbly so don't worry about being too neat a little bit underneath his chin working round it's like a big sunshine and all the lovely rays of sunshine just to map it in a little bit in front of his ear so we can make them a little bit wibbly, some bending different ways, growing out of his face, obviously it's attached to his face, just work around it, don't have to be really neat with this, quite nice to get a bit messy, so really nice close up of this line, okay so just getting this in to start, just We'll shade it a bit more later on. Okay, so once we've got our lovely face um, all drawn out, we're going to add some shading now. So we're going to start with the eyes. Let's start with the pupil. So again, I want to leave a little white highlight. So I'm just leaving a little white highlight in the pupil. Same on both pupils so in the same place really press nice and hard get that pupil nice and dark okay and then I'm going to just um, shade the eye the iris part we're going to make it quite dark at the top okay so quite dark press relatively hard obviously we don't want it as dark as the pupil so the top section I'm doing quite dark like a dark gray 
And then what I'm going to do with my finger, I'm just going to, if you've got a 2B pencil, this will work quite well. If you're using an HB pencil, you might need to shade it a little bit. I'm just going to just rub out a little bit. I want to just knock that back a bit. So I want it dark at the top and then slightly lighter in the bottom bit. We're going to now just soften up that um, frame around his eye. So I'm just sort of colouring it in a little bit, bringing it round, colouring in some almost like a lemon shape and this side and then underneath maybe bringing it across the pupil a little bit just really shading that and then that just helps the eye to really stand out so you can be quite scribbly it's quite a scribbly style don't have to make it perfectly neat the same on this side so So outline, give them some nice eyeliner. Okay. So you can see those eyes really standing out nicely now. All right, we'll just put, uh, just work over these little lines above his eyes as well. A little, light little eyebrows really, and a bit underneath, some markings underneath. And then I'm gonna do his nose. So I'm gonna pop his nostrils in, first of all. So two quite simple, my easel's getting a bit wobbly. Just, there we go, it's all right. Um, so two really dark nostrils. Then I'm gonna outline it. So I'm gonna make the, do the top of the nose really dark and these little bits on the sides. And then I'm gonna make the bottom bit really dark too. And then we're going to smudge it again and try and smudge, blend that down a bit. Might just outline it a little bit around the bottom as well, just to make it pop out a bit more. So give it, make it nice and smudgy. And we're going to work over this line now, really get that nice and dark as well. Down, underneath, and then a little bit more shading in the middle there. I'm not doing it really neatly, you can see I'm quite scribbly, working down and then we're just going to just blend that down a bit. We can as well put some little marks coming up from the bottom, Just it's almost like a little outline isn't it, but we're using little lines just to show where it is. Also, we want this nose to pop out. So this nose, this middle bit, needs to be lighter than the cheeks because they're behind it. So we're just gonna now just do a little bit of shading, gentle shading under the eyes and down the nose, just a little bit like this on both sides. So I'm sort of crisscrossing my lines, a little bit under the eye and then again, I'm smudging that out. Okay, so that's helping this middle bit to really stand out nicely. Okay, All right, so we'll just come back to this little bit. What I want to do is just outline the edge just a little bit. And then the edges, and I am going to just do a tiny bit of shading just on the edge, just here and just here on this side and then in the middle. When I'm smudging, I'm trying to follow the lines with my fingers to really emphasise that curve as well. Okay, if you, if you go a bit crazy with your smudging, you can always get your rubber out and add those light bits back in so you can get your rubber and just work into it and get it a bit lighter. Okay, we'll put um, some little dots in here ready for his whiskers later as well. So just some 
Beautiful dots. Like that. Okay. And then um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to emphasise this shape of his head a bit by putting a little bit of shading. Just coming. So I see I'm quite wide. And then as I come down to about just probably just between his eyes, I'm going to go narrower. So keeping it quite loose again and then smudge it in it just gives him a bit more shape to his face it's a little bit more you can add a little bit down here to just continue it smudge it in my easel's been a bit wobbly today sorry if it's moving around a bit right okay and then what I want to do now is I want to make the edges of the face darker. So I'm going to again do a little bit of scribbly shading just along the edge. Smudge it in, blend it in with your fingers. Work round my lion's face all the way around. I'm obviously doing this super quick for you but you will go at your own pace. I do like my scribbly lines. You'll probably run you have to sharpen your pencil a few times during this as well. It's really helping his face stand out. Just check my easel's okay. I think it's all right. Right, okay. Right, we're gonna work on our mane now, get that standing out a little bit. So again, it's just building up our scribbles. So now just pressing a bit harder, nice big long lines. So you have them sort of curving out, have them different directions, really working it. Going down. Really go mad with your scribbles. Nice scribbly mane. Whoops. Not too scribbly because that's what happens. Hold on. There we go. I'm taking it right off the edge of the paper as well. If you've done his ears, you can just shade around those a little bit. Give him a little smudge. And put a little bit of mane across. So really working this. So might take a little bit of time bringing it into the face a little bit as well. So we haven't got um, a really harsh line from his mane to his face. Now. So you can work that as much as you want. Really maybe some really darker bits now. Some thicker bits in it. Once you've got all your background scribbles, then you might want to start defining it a little bit more. So if you are doing pencil, some of you might want to just leave it at pencil and that's absolutely fine. If you want to do some felt tips, some black ink, and that's what we're gonna do next. So really bring out those dark tones. 
So if you're doing pencil, I would just keep working with the pencil. Really try and get your dark tones as dark as you can. And use your rubber to emphasize your lighter tones. Okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a black felt tip now. And we're going to just make some of these dark bits really dark and just try and blend it in a little bit. So my felt tips are obviously water-based. So any felt tip, as long as it's washable, will work well. So I'm gonna do a little bit, really make my pupil stand out, make it black, really work a little bit around these eyes. My felt tip round the eyes, underneath. So all these little dark bits I'm working over. Nose, nostrils, that middle line, top of his mouth. You can work over some of his little dots. Lines in his beard. Um, and then we can start adding really dark bits into his mane. Now I'm not completely colouring it in because the felt tip will run out. Mine are starting to get a little bit dry now. So just don't waste your felt tips. Let's try this end. There we go, a bit better. I'm trying to make it a little bit darker where the fur is next to his face. Where, where his mane is, next to his face. So you can work this as much as you want. It's up to you. A little bit down that middle section. I'm going to do a little bit down the sides of his nose. Just outline that a little bit more. Um, a little bit more. Keep stepping back, have a little look, seeing whether you think you need any more. Remember to try and take it right to the edge of the page as well. I'm going to leave that there. You can keep working it if you want to. Make it as dark or as light as you want. Um, and I'm just going to add a little bit of water now. So we're going to just add a bit of a wash and just blend this in. So the, the felt tips are a bit, because they're water soluble, they're a bit, they act in a similar way to watercolours. So I'm just working a little bit of water over the top of that outline to start with. A little bit in there. And then I'm just gonna drag a little bit down over the top bit of his eye. Remember like we did before. Make the top bit a bit darker. And then I'm washing my brush just with a little bit of clean water and I'm just blending that in underneath. Okay, and now I'm just gonna work round some of these markings a little bit and just blend some of this in. So down the side of the nose. The 
actual nose. We put a little bit of black ink on there, didn't we? So I'm just gonna wash that in a bit, work it. Follow the line with your brush and drag that ink down a bit. A bit round sides, just give that a little bit more shape. And then working round, blend that black ink in round the sides of his face. We need quite a lot of water for this. So, really slapping it on here. I'm getting this nice drippy effect, which actually I quite like. Just blending that black ink into his mane. Bringing it into the face just a little bit. Blending it in. This little middle section, we'll just do a little bit there. I'm not being neat. You can see quite scribbly. Take it right to the edge of the paper. Blending that in. So we've got a lovely, all these nice tones now. So you've got all your pencil tones, you've got your ink, and you've got your wash. Okay, so just maybe blend that in. So step back, have a little look. What we will do is, if you're happy with it, wait for it to dry just a little bit. If you wanted to add some extra dark bits, wait for it to dry and add those in. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop now with a pencil, you could do it with a black marker as well, but I'm going to do it with a pencil, is my whiskers, which I didn't add before. So pop those in. So long, flicky lines, not straight, just flicking out. Um, I might just my pencil just get that a bit darker as well. I really wanted that top of the eye dark. And I might just work around the eyes a little bit more. Really make those nice and thick. Okay, so Step back, have a look at it, see if you need to add any bits to your mane, any more pencil markings, look at the tones, see if you want to make any little bits darker. But I think we are finished. There we go. Thank you for joining us for our lion drawing class. We hope you enjoyed it. Send your pictures in to us and we will see you again soon. Bye for now.